Hello everyone. So we will continue the topic file handling and we will go for a small topic in file handling on application server. And the small topic is archiving, archiving. Firstly, we will understand in real world where, what archive is. Suppose I have so many mails in the inbox it is very difficult to see. It is very difficult to check the daily mails if everything is in my inbox. So what we are doing if those mails which are not required or we want to check in the future or later, we will archive those mails means we are moving those mails to a different place itself in the future. Whenever it is required, we'll simply go to archive and check those things. This is a real project also. In the real projects, what is happening? Suppose we'll just simply compare it to our real world. Suppose daily one file is coming into TMP directory. One file is coming today. One file will come tomorrow. One file will come after day after tomorrow. So daily one file is coming into this directory. We are reading the data from that particular file, but the file is still there. But customer is saying it's a lots of confusion for me. Daily that data is coming into that file. You are reading the data from the file. Whatever the operations are there, you perform the operation onto that data. Can you move this data to a different directory? This is what real world is. Yes, whenever we will successfully read the data from a file, we will move it to different directory and we will delete from the current directory. You can simply compare inbox and your archive. You are moving the mails from inbox to archive. Yes. In the future, whenever it is required, you are simply referring that archive. So this is what we will do in our example. After reading the particular file, whatever the operations we want to do, we will do those operations. Now everything is done with that particular file. So we should transfer that file to different directory and we should delete from the current directory so that there should not be any confusion. We have two different directory. If customer want to refer the previous file, he will go to archive directory. If you want to refer the current day, day file, he will refer and after reading or after performing the operation, that file will move it to the archive folder. This is our real world. So we will go for the requirement here in this temp directory. If you remember in this temp directory, we have a file order. We have a order file. In the previous video, we read the data of this particular file and we displayed that data. It means our task done after reading the data or after whatever the operations we want to do with this data, we will transfer this data to new directory. Suppose our new directory we will take, suppose we will take this source directory. It will be our new directory. So we will transfer this order file from TMP to source directory. And then after that, we will delete the order file from temp directory. And this is our real example. So we will go for this example. So I'll go for the previous program. In this program, you are reading the file. You are reading the order file, which is in temp directory and data of that file is coming into this internal table. Now what we will do, we will transfer this data to our new directory or you can simply understand. We will transfer this data to our, I'll say archive directory. So I will just go for best naming convention. Suppose I'm saying lv underscore a file a file means archive file i'm going for suppose length 30 type c value and this is our new directory 
I'll copy this. Suppose in this new directory, our file will store with order.txt. I'll check the syntax and activate. Now you how to transfer the data to this new file or archive file. We will firstly open the file. Open data set lv underscore a file. Now you want to transfer the data to the new file. So we have to use for output. Suppose I'm going for in text mode and coding default. If new path successfully opened or new file successfully opened, size sub rc will be zero. Now your data is in which internal table? LT data. So what we will do? Loop at LT data into LWA data. We will concatenate the data. Concatenate. First column is order number. Second column is order date. Third column is payment mode. Last column is total amount. Suppose we are saying into LV underscore string separated by hash. Now we will transfer that data to new file transfer. LV underscore string to new file. A file is our new file. Now I will check the syntax and activate. Once data transferred to the new file, we will close the file. Close data set LV underscore A file. I'll check the syntax and activate. So see what we did in this particular video so far. We read the data from this file, whatever the data is there in your order file. You read the data and you bring into this internal table. Okay. Now suppose whatever you want to do, we did with this particular data. Now we transfer this data also to new file. We transfer this data to new file also means whatever you want to do with the existing data, you did, you transfer the data to new archive file also. Now you can delete this particular file. So how to delete this particular file? Now we have a new learning. So we will simply delete. Delete statement, delete data set. Now you have to delete the temp file, temp file. So this is our temp file, temp file. So what this logic will do? We will read the data from our file order file. After reading the data from the file, we transfer that data to new directory also. It means our everything is done. Then we simply deleted the file from the previous path, or I can say temp path. I will show you how this logic is working in that debugging mode. And this is how real project works you should transfer your files to new archive directory so that customer can easily understand this is archive files and this is your current day file. We'll see. So here we learned one more operation that is close data set. Suppose you opened your order file and your all data of that file came into this internal table. You firstly read the data. If I will show you in your temp directory, you read the data, you read the file order.txt and five records are in internal table. 
Now, you open the new path. When you open the new path, psi sub RC is zero. Now you are transferring those five records to the new path. So these five records, we are transferring to new path. I'll say new directory. Now we are closing the new directory and we are deleting the previous, previous file. We are deleting the previous file. Now, if I will show you AL11, you can see there will not be any file in the our temp directory. If I will go to temp, if I will show you today's date, you can see order file deleted from the temp directory. If I will show you the our source directory, if I'll go to source directory, you can see in our source directory, the order file is here. So from one directory, we moved the file to another directory and we deleted the file from the previous directory. So this is our full concept of archiving also in case of file handling on application server. And in this video, we learned our last statement also delete data set which is used to delete a specified file. So that's it in this video. Thank you.